Hello, and welcome to Building with Drummer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make pipes, circles, and polygons of any diameter, length, and wall thickness. In this video, we will be using the clone, manipulate, rotate, scale, and select tools. Let's start by setting up our maker pen. First, we need to enable snap and disable world grid. Next, we open the palette, navigate to the settings page. Here we're gonna set our position snap to one centimeter. We also need to set our rotation snap. The rotation snap setting you choose will determine how many sides your circle will have. A lower snap will result in more sides, which will take longer to draw and manipulate, use more ink, but will appear much smoother than a circle drawn with a higher snap setting. For this demonstration, I'm going to set my rotation snap to 30, which will result in a circle with 12 sides. Let's begin. Begin by using the Create tool to draw a cube that is 1 centimeter tall, 1 centimeter deep, and 5 centimeters long. Next, bring up your Clone tool. Select your cube and click the handle to the right to copy it to the right of itself. Now, bring up your Manipulate tool. We are going to use this to double the size of our new cube both back and down. We are doing this to put our rotation point of our new cube on the lower right edge of our original cube. Now, we are going to use the rotate tool to rotate our new cube one snap. Then, we go back to the manipulate tool and resize our cube back to its original size. We are now going to repeat the process of cloning the cube manipulating it to double its size, rotating it, and manipulating it back to its original size for every side of our circle. Now that we've completed our circle, let's go over the process of manipulating it to change its diameter, wall thickness, and length. For this demonstration, I'm going to make a pipe that is 45 centimeters wide, 30 centimeters long, and has 10 centimeter thick walls. We start by clicking the Done Editing button on our Maker Pen. Next we go to the Settings tab in our palette, set our position snap to 5 centimeters, bring up the Scale tool on our Maker Pen, then select our circle. We will first drag the left handle of our circle to put it on the grid and then we'll drag our right handle to get to 45 centimeters. I do this by dragging it as far back as it will go to the left and then bringing it out another eight snaps. We will now resize each side of our circle using the manipulate tool. We do this by dragging each side in towards the center two snaps. We'll repeat this for every side of our circle. Next, we are going to bring up the select tool Click on one of the sides and hold the trigger, then drag it all the way around to select every side of the circle. We will then bring up our scale tool, stand to the side of the circle, grab one of the red handles, then drag this out five snaps, or in this case, 30 centimeters. We now have our pipe but you might have noticed that the sides of our pipe look a bit open. This is due to the large size of the cubes and the bevels on them. To solve this, we're gonna have to push in each side roughly one centimeter. So first, we're gonna bring up the palette, go to settings, and set our position snap to one centimeter. We're then going to use the manipulate tool on each side to push it in one centimeter, which will result in a much sharper looking edge. Once we are done manipulating each side, we will have our sharp edges, but our pipe will no longer have the same diameter or wall thickness it did when we started. So let's set our snap back to five centimeters, hit done editing, bring up the scale tool, and repeat the process of scaling it by dragging it back onto the grid on either side. Next, we're gonna bring up the manipulate tool and drag the inside handle of each side in so that they are all once again, 10 centimeters. Once that is complete, we will bring up the select tool, 
fold and drag around the entire shape to select all sides. Then bring up the scale tool, stand to the side, grab one of the outer handles, and drag it until it is 30 centimeters again. And there we have it, a pipe that is 45 centimeters in diameter, 30 centimeters long, and has walls that are 10 centimeters thick. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.